That's here in Japan? Yes, of course. <laughs> oh, okay. Um, <laughs> how do you speak English so well? Um, I was quite a good student at school. Uh huh. You're quite okay. And how long have you been a um, practicing Nichiren Choshu Buddhism? And I was born in the uh, um, priest family, so oh. from the first, I'm a member. Oh, okay, so you're the first. You're born with a priest family, so yes. Okay, if the if the if the men are priests, what do the women do? Um, in temple? No, no, no. Not necessarily in temple, but say, does. Okay, the sister, the man, the there are no women priests in Buddhism, right? Are there women? Women priests? Uh, right. uh, no, I haven't heard about that. Okay, so do, do like, say, the children of priests, the women, do the women generally marry another priest? Mm-hmm. Uh, usually, the uh, no, women in the temple and would like to uh, marry with the priest because uh, we'd like to keep our religion. Okay, so in other words, are you married to a priest now? Yes. Okay, now who is your husband? Um, he's Shudo Tsuji. <laughs> oh, okay. Uh, in Shokoji. Okay. Okay. okay, now, and you have a son that's just about to enter the priesthood, right? Yes. Okay, let's let's meet your son. Let's meet your son. Who's your son? Okay, here he is. Okay, uh, this is your son. Oh, bring him close to you, close. Okay, <laughs> this is your son. No. But no. later you can laugh my English. You said. No, no. We have, no, the thing is this: we in America have never had the opportunity to meet and know the priesthood. Now, when I came into Buddhism, I came into Buddhism through SGI. So we never had a relationship with the priest. So when I was sitting there eating, I, I heard you come and say, my son is joining the priesthood. How old, are, how old is your son? How old are you? I am 30 years. How many years? 13 years old. 13. And you're learning English now? So-so. <laughs> So-so. Mm. So, let me ask you something. So, your father is a priest? Yes. And are you in, I understand you're, fam, you're following a family tradition. Yes. How does it make you feel just, uh, is it something that you really want to be like your father? I mean, I, I've never met a young priest before, and I'm sure that the members that, you know, watching this, They've never met a young priest. Let me ask you something. Like uh, in America, and I'm sure in Japan, like the young uh, children, they play Nintendo <laughs> games. Did you play Nintendo? Yeah. Yes, he did. But right now he can't. Oh, he can't, oh, he can't play Nintendo? Why? I mean, um, because they don't permit oh. to play Nintendo at, in dormitory. Oh, okay. So now, when he goes, to, he, is he living home now? Is he living in the dormitory? Yes. And how many years will he be in dormitory? Uh, six years. Six, for six years. Does he, does he come home on like special holidays and stay with the family? No, no. You mean to tell me like in six years, how does it make you feel as a mother to, to lose your baby for six years? <sighs> Look at my face. <laughs> wow. <laughs> so, oh, bring, come, come, come closer. Uh, so you're gonna go and you work in the temple and learn. Come closer. Let me, let me get you a little closer. So you go in the temple and you learn for you know just for six years and you come on the guidance of a master. Is that what happens? What, I mean, what does it mean when he goes to uh, to, the, to the to the temple and when he goes into what what does that mean? What, what happens? What happens for the future? Like for instance, when he leaves home mm -hmm. and he trains to become a priest, what, what, what goes on in that time period? I mean, for the six years, what does he do?